With all the updates of DaVinci 18.5, one of those updates has actually been there for a while, but they finally moved it to the inspector tab, and that is super scale. What it's meant to do is take a low quality footage and upscale it to a higher quality resolution. I'm going to put a shot through the test and see if it actually looks any better using the super scale feature. This feature is only available in the studio paid version of DaVinci, so if you have the free version, you won't be able to access this feature. The only other software I know of that does something similar to this is Topaz Labs, which I've only used their photo upscaler and not their video upscaler. So I don't really have much to go off of, of how well this technology actually works. I headed over to Pexels to grab a stock shot to use for this test. And the reason I went here is because you can download one clip in multiple resolutions. Now I'm gonna take those clips into DaVinci and we'll start super scaling. And just so you guys are aware, I do not have proxies on. I don't have proxies even made for this, but just to be safe. And my timeline prox resolution is at full. Starting off, we do have our 4K shot. See that over here in the metadata that it is 4K. And yeah, it looks nice and clean. Next shot, 1440. So not much of a difference. It's only half the resolution. Go ahead and stack these. So I'm gonna put the 1440 on top and then I'll turn it on and off so you can see the difference. It's very, very subtle already. So I don't think it's gonna have any problem upscaling this and I don't think we'll even notice a difference, but I will hop over into the inspector tab up here and right here is super scale. Go ahead and toggle that on. If anything, the skin looks smoother. Gonna undo and redo that. I'm not really seeing any difference, but it's kind of what I expected. Gonna throw that on top, turn it on, off. Looks pretty much the same, 1080 time. This one you can kind of tell it's a little bit lower quality. I'm gonna throw that on top to 4K. Yeah, it's a little bit noticeable. Not much. Yeah, you could really tell in the eyes and like all these contrasty areas that it really just sharpens it up. Oof. Uh, <laughs> it's really eating away at my GPU right now, but I'm also screen recording, so that could have an effect on this quality. But man, that poor guy, his crow's feet, it's really noticeable. But I will say, it is pretty usable still. Let's look at the 720. It's only gonna get worse from here. Yeah definitely see the lower quality in this. Put it on top. All right, let's super scale this. Oof. A lot of artifacting going on in the motion blur. See if we can fix that with some noise reduction. Hey, that actually cleaned it up a bit. Sharpening. I won't really mess with that too much. It's looking better doing that, but this would definitely work a lot better, I think, if it was a shot with less movement or less motion blur, so something like an action cam. 540p. Yeah, that already looks low. That looks real low. Let's turn super scale on. Woo! Talk about contrasty. Oh, man. Oh, no, no. This is getting bad. Okay, um, let's just max this noise reduction. Ugh. They're starting to look like a watercolor filter. 
Oh no. Oh, this is like if you used AI stable diffusion type stuff, this kind of gives me that feel. I mean, obviously this is like using AI. We've been using the 2X enhanced. Let's just go to 3X. Kind of kind of cleared it up. We're at medium. Let's go to high on sharpness and high on noise reduction. Uh, I'll turn that on and off. It's better. Kind of reminds me of the 720 at where it was upraised. Yeah. Maybe this is passable, but you know what? We got to we got we got to keep going. We got two more to, two more to try out. We got 360 it's starting to get just just destroyed on this quality. Super scale. Yeah, I'm just going to jump to 3x. Oh, let's go to four. OK, OK. Uh, actually, I'm going to go to high on noise reduction since the sharpening seems to make it a lot more crunchy looking. OK, after, before, after. It, oh no, oh no, 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 no. I mean, let's, let's do it, let's go, let's go high on sharpness. Oh no, 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 no. It's like the old Android to iPhone sending video kind of quality. Just for giggles, I know it's gonna look bad, but 240. Super scale, 4X, high, high. Whew. There's some work to be done with this feature. I'm gonna place on top all these and just kind of go down the list. So 240, 360, 540, 720, 1080, 1440, 2160, i.e. 4K. I think you can get away with 720. Once you hit 540 resolution, it's pretty noticeable that it's a low res image. And of course, this is just a stock piece of footage that I got. It's not something that was shot on a cinema camera that was raw. But then again, if it was, it would most likely be at least 1080. I'd say if you had footage that was shot at 720, very, very passable, definitely can use this. If you have anything lower, probably won't look as great. I would love to test out Topaz's upreser and see how it actually compares to DaVinci's. But with DaVinci, there's a lot of room for improvement on this particular feature. If there's another feature in DaVinci Resolve Studio that you guys would like me to show you guys, let me know in the comment section and check out this video that the algorithm thinks you'll like to watch next.